Hello everyone, today is a good day. Today I'm gonna to be uh, unboxing uh, my new case, my new computer case, and I haven't really done a setup video before to show you guys uh, what's in my uh, setup. Uh, and the main reason being is because although the internals of the setup were you know, of a good standard, unfortunately the case was absolutely horrible. We'll show you in a moment. Um, but it was a little bit like you know, having a supermodel body uh, and having it in old tatty second-hand clothes. Um, so I was a little bit embarrassed, uh, but I've managed to, to get myself uh, a new case and it is the NZXT uh, H440. It really gets really great reviews, so really excited to unbox this with you uh, and then um, set it all up. So keep watching uh, as we uh, unbox and set up. So just before I do uh, go on and show you my new case, I thought it'd be apt to show you my old case. Um, so here it is. Uh, you can see it is very, very cheap and cheerful. I think it came with the package uh, that I previously bought, which was a pre-built package, um, an absolute dust magnet, and the actual uh, water cooler that I have doesn't fit in the case anymore. I can't put the side panel um, back onto the case. Um, so that's one of the main reasons for, for looking to upgrade. But I mean, just look at the dust. It wasn't too long before, you know, all my new, brand new components were soon going to be wrecked uh, by the dust inside that case. So I did think it was uh, very apt that I needed to get a new case, and one that was uh, a little bit better. But I mean, just look at that dust. It's disgusting, isn't it? I literally was pulling off inches of dust um, when I removed the case. It was disgusting, absolutely rotten. Um, so yeah, glad to see the back of it. Uh, that will go on eBay probably. Look at the size of this box, man. Absolutely massive. Now some unboxers, you'll see they've got all these fancy knives and stuff that they use when they unbox. Um, however, I'm not quite there yet. I've got these cheap pair of scissors, um, but it's gonna do the job for us. Looks good, but I've got to be honest, I'm not 20 foot tall, so I'm going to have to put it on the floor, take it out of the box. Several hours later. That was a mission, so finally after wrestling it out of the box, um, we've got it here. And I have gone for the, uh, the black and the red uh, edition with the uh, windowed side panel. Uh, so I'm going to take it out and try and get my breath back off the wrestling uh, with that box and we'll be able to see it in the flesh. Okay, so here it is, an absolute thing of beauty. Uh, weighs an absolute ton. Uh, it's a lot bigger than my, my other case actually. It's going to be a massive improvement in terms of space. Uh, got to work in. Um, excited to open it up, but uh, let's give you a few close up of some of the key details uh, of this case. So, on the top, you have this beautiful IO with uh, USB 3 and USB 2 port. Inside the case, you have two trays for your SSD hard drives uh, that sit on top of your power supply shroud. And you've also got a nice size uh, fan uh, on the back of the case for cooling, uh, and lots of handy little slots. Uh, to store your cables like the ones in the center of the screen now. Obviously your motherboard tray sits uh, right in the middle. Um, on the back of the case you've got uh, a fan controller um, to control the uh, fan that comes included on the back and the free uh, that come included on the front as well as any other fans that you may have. Okay so now you've seen the key components of the new case it's time to remove all the components from the old case uh, and get them installed into the H440. Okay, so that is the uh, original case, uh, pretty much emptied now. Um, obviously that's the, the easy bit, uh, the hardest bit is then fitting it into the, the new case. Um, but yeah, it didn't take me too long really, sort of looking about 15, 15, 20 minutes. Um, what I'm gonna do now is just try and get rid of some of the dust before I put it into the new case. Several hours later. Okay, so that's the prep work all done. Let's get all this stuff back in the case.
Well guys, that is it. It's built and it's working and it's beautiful and it's quiet and it's heavy, um, but it is uh, an absolutely brilliant case. Really, really pleased with how it's turned out. I was a little bit fiddly on occasions building it, um, but uh, yeah, overall, I'm very, very happy uh, with the, the way that it, it did turn out. It's, um, yeah, it's a bit of a pleasure really though to, to building it. Like I said, a couple of fiddly parts, um, but overall sort of cable management's pretty good. Um, sort of better, better than any case I've really seen, to be honest with you. I've, I've used um, yeah, a few different cases before. Um, really enjoyed this one for cable management sort of side. It, the, you know, it's got slots in the right place to, to feed cables through for uh, even the motherboard, the CPU or the um, or the SSD trays at the front. Um, some neat little slots right at the back of the uh, sort of power supply shroud. Um, which really made it a lot easier when it came to um, to building it. Um, so it was a joy, and, and certainly looking forward to, to you know upgrading it in the future. And and I think that's going to be a lot easier uh, with this case than what it was in the last one. Uh, certainly no limits really in terms of room. There's lots of room in there if you want to put you know a nice big graphics card in there. It's going to do the job. Um, but I did promise you at the start of the video that I would show you uh, my setup as well. Um, I haven't done a setup video before because my case was so naff. Now I've got a good case, I'm ready to show you uh, exactly what it is that, that makes this, this channel run. Um, so first of all, the, the camera that I'm recording this on, obviously you guys can't see that, but it is a Nikon uh, D5100. I've just got the stock lens on for this video. Um, that's the camera that I'm using. I've got it hooked up to a, a Zoom H1 mic, which is recording this audio. Um, some other parts of this video, though, would probably be um, hooked up to my uh, Focusrite 2i2 Studio Bundle. Um, which I've reviewed in, in sort of previous videos. Um, I'm now going to take the, the camera off the tripod. And I'm going to point at the case, and um, yeah, I'm going to obviously show you the case and show you what what's inside of it. So yeah, let's let's move on to that. So the case at the moment uh, is very uh, sort of minimalistic. I've not really gone for too many uh, LEDs. Just got a few sort of LEDs, which are part of the motherboard. Um, and then right at the front here, um, you have got the uh, the logo, the NZXT logo, which is uh, illuminated. Now that is uh, optionally illuminated. There is a button on the back. Uh, we can can turn that off uh, if you like. Um, obviously, on the side of the case, we've got this um, this glass panel here, um, so you can see all the, the internal components. And um, though it doesn't cover the whole case, it's sort of three quarters away. Um, across, so it does block off the uh, the drives. We normally put sort of the hard drive in, and that gets blocked off and, and hides that away quite nicely. Uh, just exposing that the motherboard, graphics cards, and sort of the internal components there. Uh, obviously, you can pimp this case up a little bit if you wanted to have some LEDs or you want some fans with LEDs and uh, and the like. Then um, then you can do that. Um, but for for myself, actually, I just want a nice sort of sensible case if you like that was going to look good. Uh, not too much flair to it, but. Um, you know, it's going to be nice and easy to use to, to build um, straight out of the box, and you know, it's going to sort of meet all my requirements in terms of cooling. And I think I think this one does it perfectly. Um, so I'm going to turn the lights back on, and I'm going to open the case up. And I'm going to show you uh, the components that I've got uh, in my setup. And so the first thing I've got in here is um, an SSD. Is a Samsung uh, Evo uh, 850, I believe, and it is a uh, 250 gigabyte uh, solid state hard drive. Now, if you're looking at in improving the performance of your PC and you don't have an SSD, I really, really recommend it. I got this um, probably about a year ago now, and it really massively improved uh, the performance of this thing. And um, yeah, I'm a, an avid believer in SSDs now. They certainly are the, the best sort of way. Um, to go about sort of storing stuff at, at high speed um, these days, absolutely, you know, totally believe in those. I've still got a couple of the old style hard drives um, for sort of storing a lot of the old videos and stuff, but for pure speed, actually, I run uh, all of my games off of that. Um, I do sort of, I could, I could really do with a, a bigger SSD or, or another SSD to run some more games off, uh, but I do sort of uninstall them when I'm not playing them for a little bit and then reinstall them. Uh, and so on and so forth, but, um, but yeah, I like to run all my games off the SSD these days. Um, just slightly above that, we've got my graphics card. This is an AMD uh, R9 200 series. Um, 
and uh, this one was actually given to me uh, by my brother. I got it off him secondhand, sort of quite, quite cheaply. Um, it's not a bad card. It's a big upgrade from what I had before. Before I had a uh, Nvidia, I think it was 450. Um, so Nvidia GTX 450, which uh, again did me well for a number of years. Um, this card, uh, yeah, for the price I got it, I think I got it for about 50, 60 quid off my brother. Um, so it was an absolute bargain. Um, has done me really, really well now. Obviously, I'd like a, a better card. Very much got my eyes on the 1080 Ti, um, but I think I mean oh, I think I may be dreaming a little bit for my budget. But if there is any Nvidia guys watching this and you want to, you know, give me an Nvidia um, 1080 Ti or just a normal 1080, you know, either one of those I would definitely accept. Your dreams, Alfred. Um, quite gladly, and I will do a review video on it. But um, I'm pushing my luck a little bit. I don't think that's going to happen. Um, so for now, I've got this one. Um, I do prefer Nvidia cards normally. Um, but like I said, this, this option came up, uh, so I went for this. Um, just above that, you may see my, my little capture card. That captures everything that you see on the screen um, when I'm recording my game videos. Um, so yeah, it's the Elgato Gaming HD 60 Pro. Um, records at 60 frames uh, per second in uh, full 1080p. Um, so yeah, it's, it's really, really good. Um, uh, again, that came off... Uh, that's actually on loan really from my brother brother loaned that one to me he's not really using it so he's sort of giving me a bit of an indefinite loan on that at the minute so thank you very much um uh hard drive not hard drive wise sorry motherboard wise um the motherboard that i've got is an msi uh, h170 uh, game motherboard um a, a, again it's a new motherboard that i got i've got some ddr4 ram in there as well uh, i've only got one stick in there at the minute i want to get another stick but that one stick is 16 gigabytes um i can only really afford the one stick when i first um sort of upgraded my pc which was sort of sprung upon me from components breaking so i've got one 16 gigabyte in there i know it's obviously running single channel um, but the aim is to get another 16 gigabyte um, when funds allow um, so i'd have 32 gigabyte and dual channel ddr4 um, which would be awesome uh, processor wise i've got a uh, intel i7 uh, 6700k um, and that's running at I think it's 4.2 gigahertz so um, really really good processor very very pleased with it since I got it um, and I've obviously got that called that's a Corsair uh, H55 water cooler um, yeah I would have actually gone for a better one now now being a bit more educated on the water coolers I would have gone for probably one of the NZXT ones as well um, however this was all that they had available and it was a little bit of a last minute needed to get a water cooler on there um, that was all they had in my local uh, PC store um, so I went for that but it's doing the job perfectly fine at the minute um, especially with this case you know I really haven't got anything that's gonna you know sort of need or warrant anything bigger than that at the moment which is um, yeah yeah which is really really good so that's um, the main part of my, my setup um, the RAM as well sorry that's going at um, I think it's uh, 2400 the rams at um, but yeah maybe I'll check that but uh, it's again it's doing the job perfectly fine me to be honest with you you know I play a lot of football manager <laughs> you know anything other than an advanced calculator um, is going to run football manager so this does it absolutely perfectly and obviously it's going to be future proof as well um, a lot of the games that I'm going to be playing you know obviously this, this system is going to be able to run it for a li little while um, now looking at my uh, keyboard and mouse I don't expect anything too special here. Uh, I've got this little beast for a mouse. That is good, it's a wireless one. I got it off uh, Amazon, I think. I think it's a TechNet or something like that, I think it's called. Um, let's focus on a little bit better here. Yeah, it's a TechNet. Um, it does the job. Battery life's pretty good um, and does the job perfectly fine for me. Keyboard wise, this is a Logitech keyboard. Nice little pattern. I've had it for a few years now. Again, it's a wireless keyboard. Um, we actually had some of these going at work um, and they were doing pretty well, so I ended up purchasing it because I got quite used to it. Um, it's not a mechanical keyboard or anything like that. Um, the actual brand of it is, like I said, it's a Logitech. Sorry, the model number is a K. 360 um, so that's the model number of it if you really want to look into it it's pretty good I mean, most of you guys that are watching this video have probably got you know gaming keyboards and I'd like to know actually I have never used a gaming keyboard now maybe that's blasphemy in the gaming community but I've never used one so you know what 
what's so different about a gaming keyboard? Am I missing out by having, you know, one of these keyboards? Do let me know in the um, in the comment section below this video. Um, the audio-wise, like I say, normally I've got the Focusrite 2i2 Studio Bundle. Um, so you've got the USB audio interface, you've got the headphones that came with it, and then you've got the condenser mic with a pop filter, and obviously that's on boom arm as well. Now look at my little fish tank here, let's give me a little tablet. A little bit of a story with that, so obviously you may be able to tell from that, it's not real fish. Um, that fish is um, it's obviously a, uh, a plastic one, now I absolutely love uh, marine fish, trop uh, yeah, marine fish mainly, not just tropical fish. Um, the likes of you know that you'd see if you was diving on a reef. Um, I absolutely love that sort of stuff. Now, unfortunately, where we live at the moment, we can't have a, a big fish tank. Um, so, someone, namely, namely my dad, actually um, bought me this uh, this little fish tank. Let's see if I can focus a bit better onto that. Yeah, bought me this um, this fish tank here, and yeah, just a keep the company gets around the, the you know the rental rules in terms of keeping pets a plastic fish doesn't count so um so yeah I'm able to enjoy this little guy's company until uh, we move house and you know I can then get a proper big marine tank and we'll start a YouTube channel actually if I do get one because that'd be awesome. Um, screen wise again nothing really special it's um, an AOC screen um, it's actually more a sort of TV than a, than a monitor, um, but it does the job for me at the moment. Um, I'm looking very much to upgrade that at some point. I've had it for a number of years, um, but it does the job for now. And you know, I've looked to upgrade my, my PC first off. Um, and I've certainly, you know, obviously, if I do get that 1080 Ti, I I'll look to invest in a better screen so I can enjoy it a little bit better. But it is full HD, and for Football Manager, it's perfect. Um, so, what more could you could you want? Okay guys, so that is it for this episode. It's probably been quite a long episode actually by the time I, I edit it down. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope that's enlightened you a little bit um, in terms of my, my setup. One final thing, just to note this, this desk. I know some of you uh, would like to know uh, where I got this desk from. This desk is, is an Ikea desk. Um, absolutely amazing. If you want more information on it, drop me a, a, a message and I'll, I'll let you know the model number. Um, but I did get it second hand uh, off eBay. Uh, for £20, um, absolute bargain, let's go and collect it, the guy was really really nice, collected it, it's been absolutely perfect, it's got a little tray underneath as well um, for the power packs and stuff to go in that keeps it nice and tidy um, and it's extra long so it's really good for building PCs and, and just having lots of space really. Uh, so thank you very much for, for watching uh, this episode, if you did enjoy it please make sure you hit the like button, uh, if you did uh, or if you've got any questions or you want to know more make sure you do comment in the uh, box below uh, and also if you don't subscribe to Pedro Plays uh, do hit that subscribe button, I'm releasing you know videos on a weekly basis from gaming Let's Plays to reviews um, of products to set up videos like this so do make sure that you hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already um, but have a good week guys and take care